Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, happy November 1st. It's a new day. It's a new week. It's a new month, all at the same time. Happy November 1st. We are done with Halloween. We are into holiday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Let's make some energize and have a conversation. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've had a live conversation. Listen, I'm so dehydrated this morning. I cannot wait. You know, travel just does that to you. I'm so dehydrated. And I'm actually going to post about that later. Um, travel does that to you. So I cannot wait for this energizer. I cannot wait to get all the hydration in today. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy November 1st. Happy New Week. How are you this morning? I hope you had a wonderful Halloween. I hope it was fantastic for you yesterday. Let's talk about, I've got so, oh my gosh, we have so, we have so much to talk about this morning. We have so much to talk about this morning. Let's get right into it while you are making your energize while I am making my energize. Let's get right into it. So first and foremost, please say good morning. Hello, Rochelle. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, please say good morning when you come on so I can see you. Um, do you all know, this is a fun fact about JV. I do not see well at all. So if you see me like squinting at the at the phone it's because i'm i'm squinting to see who's saying good morning so that i can say hello good morning kate hi trisha good morning good morning good morning so yes please say good morning please <laughs> please know when i'm like squinting it's because i have um, no eyesight good morning good morning how is everyone this morning oh my gosh look at you all this morning look at you all what a wonderful community we have this morning up at 6 30 a.m on a monday on a brand new month. It is a brand new month. How exciting is that? I love it. And we're gonna talk, first let's talk about what may or may not have happened yesterday at Halloween. Okay, so what happens, I've seen this over and over again, that we get into this strange um, mindset around Halloween. So I have fruit punch and lemon energized mixed together in my ginormous glass container here. And what happens often around Halloween is people have this um, sugar situation that happens. And I've been there, I've done that. And it was always like, oh, here's a piece of candy for you, here's two pieces for me. Now I will tell you, admittedly, I'm not a sugar person, I am a salt person. Neither one is right or wrong or better than the other. They both have their, their negative effects as well as their positive effects, um, but... I'm a salt person. However, we all we all like a little bit of sugar. Here's why. Here's why we all like a little bit of sugar. And here's why, if you had some yesterday, why you might feel off today. Or if you have some any day, why you might feel off today. So sugar is addictive. We are naturally hardwired to want sugar. So what you need to know right out of the gate, it, this has nothing to do with willpower or self-discipline or motivation, which doesn't really exist, or inspiration or any of that, it has nothing to do with any of that. We are hardwired to crave and want sugar back from the caveman days. So it's very biological. And here's the deal with sugar. When we eat it, we actually crave more of it. So you know when you have a craving for something like I don't know, maybe a pizza or something like that. You have a craving for a pizza and you have a pizza and you're good. Like your craving calms down often uh, because it doesn't have a lot of, well, the tomatoes have sugar in it, but you know, it, it's just, or maybe, maybe a different example, maybe like a, um, a burger or fries or something like that. And you have this craving and you eat the thing and then the craving kind of goes away. Like, all right, cool. I, I, I did the thing. That's not the case with sugar because we are so hardwired to want it that when we have it, our bodies, not our minds, this is gonna overflow, not our willpower, not our self-discipline, not any of that, but our bodies actually crave more. So it's, so it's very scientific. Our bodies actually crave more. So when we eat sugar and we crave more, 
you don't lack self-discipline. You don't lack motivation. You're not a bad person. Your body is just doing what it physiologically is made to do and it just craves sugar. Now, I don't know all the caveman details. I would assume it has something to do with something that is sweet back in the caveman days was probably safe to eat. So we're naturally hardwired to want the sweet stuff. And then when we eat it, we actually want more. Our body says, I want more. Okay, hold on, I have to get a straw. So when you have sugar, when we have sugar, and then we want more and we can't seem to stop eating it, it's because that's a physiological, biological response to it. You're not a bad person, you're not a weak person, you don't have lack of self-discipline. You're just physiologically designed to crave and want more sugar, okay? So that should be reassuring. Now let's take a drink of Energize. It's like the heavens opened up and the day can start. The day can start, the month can start, the week can start, everything can start now because we've now had our first drink of Energize. We have our candle going. We had our first drink of Energize. I mean, come, come through Energize. Like, there's something like it. I do need to hydrate more too because travel absolutely dehydrates you. And you know that we walk around in a state of mild dehydration. Most of us walk around in a state of mild dehydration all the time anyway because we don't drink enough anyway, usually, most of us. And when you compound that with travel, it just makes it even worse, which then makes you, wanna, makes you crave things that um, maybe are not in alignment with your health goals. So again, just back to the sugar. What I want you to know about sugar, and this just comes from a lot of years of uh, educating myself. You know, I've been doing this health and fitness thing for 20 years, <laughs> and um, I've had the great fortune of working with a lot of really amazing people and doing a lot of education on my own, and that was one of the most impactful pieces that I learned was how biologically wired we are to crave sugar so that when we eat it, we actually want more of it. Okay, cool. So you ate some yesterday. What are you gonna do today? Well, you're gonna do exactly what I'm gonna do today because of travel, and that is hydrate. Like the queens that you are, you are going to hydrate. So this is, I think this is 33, yeah. So this is 33 ounces. So I love that it's glass because of course it's recyclable and um, I've worked really hard. I'll be completely transparent with you. I've worked really hard to stop drinking smart water, even though I love it. Like I love smart water so much. I absolutely 100% believe the taste is different. Uh, I love smart water so much. However, smart water is in plastic. Plastic's in the ocean. That affects our planet, and so I'm not drinking it anymore. Unless I'm traveling, and it's the only option, I don't buy smart water anymore. And I used to buy cases, and I used to contribute to the plastic going in the ocean, and I ooh, can't stand it. So we have switched. This is one of the best waters on the planet. If you want to know more about water and how it affects you and specifically the kind of water you drink, because it matters. It really does. I want you to go to the book Super Life by Darren Oleen. Get it on audio. Go to the book Super Life by Darren Oleen. Get it on audio and then go to the chapter on water and listen to him talk about it because it will change the game for you. You can also go to the Netflix show Down to Earth, also with Darren Oleem, and they have an entire episode on the power of water, on hydration and the kind of water that you should be drinking. Down to Earth on Netflix, so available to everyone. Go to the episode where there's, specific, there's only one season right now, season two coming out later. Season one, go to the episode. They're actually in Paris, France, and they start out um, at a restaurant, and they're talking about water, and it will blow your mind. And even um, my husband, who, you know, he, he's very into how can he take care of himself, but very in the most basic ways, he doesn't really think about the kind of water he drinks until he watched that episode last summer, and he's like, oh, like every single thing we do for our health, we can actually up-level in some way. So... If you're having a little bit of a crash, 
from sugar today because you ate more because you are biologically wired to crave it once you have it, number one, you may not have any today. It's the only way to stop the craving is you must not have any sugar. It just is what it is. It's not... Um, it's not a judgment on character. It's simply biological. So if we could just please separate the fact that um, it's not lack of willpower, it really is biological. But to get rid of the craving and to start to feel better after we've had sugar, we have to not eat it, period. So you have to, you have to step away from the sugar today. So that's number one. And then you gotta hydrate like the queens that you are and really be conscientious of the kind of water that you're drinking, truly, because your tap water may, may not be, it, it may in some places be excellent for you, okay, but really invest in the water that you're drinking and please invest in the type of vessel in which the water lives. Please no more plastic, please just no more plastic so that we can have oceans and, and planets, earth, <laughs> no more plastic. So this, you know, it, it's, I, I even drink out of these and I think, oh my gosh, should I even be drinking out of something like this even though I'm reusing it constantly? It, it it's, is made of plastic. So I, I mean, we got, we got to do the best we can, right? We got to do the best we can. So one of the ways we're going to get rid of the, the sugar craving stage, we're going to step away from the sugar. We're going to hydrate like crazy. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So I started off saying that this is 33 ounces. So I'm going to drink probably four of these today in addition to what I drink with my Energize, in addition to what I drink with my shake. And I'm doing that on purpose because I wanna make sure I, I rehydrate from travel and um, I didn't have any sugar yesterday. So I don't, I don't have that craving today, but I'm just, I'm dehydrated from travel. And that makes you tired, makes you less clear. It affects your skin, it affects your brain, it affects everything. So hydrate like the queen that you are today. Start your month. Um, it's Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley water. Mountain Valley, Mountain Valley. Just look for the green bottle and you'll find it. And they do come in aluminum cans, also recyclable, which is amazing. I also drink Proud Source water, which comes in aluminum cans, and you can get that delivered. So I'll have that delivered. I have Mountain Valley delivered in both glass, bo <clears throat> both glass bottles and the aluminum cans. And the day that smart water decides to actually get smart and put their water in glass bottles or aluminum. Y'all back that truck up to my house and bring it in because I love smart water so much. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Someone out here said they love Evian water, so. Um, black, black water? Mm. I don't know that kind, but, and there's, I also like flow which is a good one and it comes in a like a box a paper box that, that can be recycled so okay um next other ways to combat your sugar cravings veggies today no sugar veggies 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 so hydrate like the queen eat a big old fat salad just like a big old fat salad get your salad going get that salad going um the the trick that i used to use for my girls that I actually got from my mom was that, you know, you just divide up the candy, you stick it in the freezer, and then you divvy it out. And when you have to unthaw it, you really got to think about if you want it or not. So that's another way. Get that candy out of the house. Um, veggie up your life today, like salads everywhere and lots and lots of water. And most of all, work the heck out like get some cardio in so that you just sweat out any toxins that you have and sort of start clean on this beautiful first day of a new month so those are your those are your tips hydrate 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 veggie up your life put the candy in the freezer divide it up really it's 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 like the same concept as the credit card in the freezer when you have to unthought you have to really think about hmm do i really want this this credit card this really this thing that i want to buy you have to think about that with candy too like do i really want this so get it in the freezer get it out of sight out of mind and if you have like so many do like i know we do um if you've got a freezer in the garage get it out in the garage because then you actually got to go out into the garage to get it so like literally get it out and then the sugar cravings will die down once we stop feeding the craving the sugar cravings will die down but if we continue to feed be like well i'm just gonna have this one piece or this one piece 
it's, it's going to continue. Let me show you something that I do eat when I want something um, with a little sweet taste at the end of the day. Let me show you this. I should have gotten this out before. We actually, we actually have two, two little tools in our house. So this is one. This is called Gut Happy Cookies. And you can get them on Uplift. I buy them online. They're from a company called where to go? Where my light go? Uplift. And the woman who made them literally made them because she had so many, you know, digestive issues, as do I, as do many, many women. And they're full of probiotics. So I just go to Uplift, just go to Uplift Foods. And these, they, they have several different flavors. These are my absolute favorite, these. And they just, they have prebiotics, they have probiotics, they're plant-based because you know that I, I eat mostly vegan and they have protein, very low sugar, a lot of fiber. This is a really lovely uh, something to have at the end of the day. So like if you, you're craving that dessert or something at the day, they're super low sugar, they're plant-based, they're gonna give you fiber, they're gonna give you pre and probiotics and you have them at the end of the day and then that is in your, your body to kind of close out the day, it's good. So if you're interested in something like that, uplift, Up, uplift. I mean, if you're going to, this is your, this is what you got. Your job, job one is taking care of, we only get one of these. So job one is taking care of this. If I'm going to put something in it, let's put something in that's, that's going to give me a lot of bang for my buck, right? You know, not just sugar and then have the crash and the craving. Let me have something that has a little bit of sweet. Also it's pre and probiotics and is plant-based and has fiber. Yes, let's go. Like, okay, that's a, that's a much better decision. Okay. So then speaking of sweat. So make my energize, we're gonna do the thing. Listen, this is a huge week this week. This is a huge week this week because it is premier week on Beach Body On Demand Interactive, which means live classes like crazy. And it's so exciting. And, and I, I've tried to show this, I'm gonna try and show it today too because I'm gonna do a strength class with Lee Jimenez, who I love. It, it's live in terms of so if you're familiar with Peloton and you know that you're doing a live class, because I do live classes on Peloton too. However, the instructor can't see you. They see who's on the leaderboard, but they can't actually see you. On Beachbody On Demand Interactive, there's a literal screen behind the instructor. It's like we're in class together. So the instructor actually can see the people taking class on the screen too. Like, what is this technology, 2021? It's mind blowing, it's amazing. And I love Lee Jimenez. He's my favorite trainer on here because I love how he high fives everyone afterwards. And it's just the most amazing, um, most innovative platform. I've never seen anything like this, you know, and as someone who's been, I've had my Peloton bike for mm, four or five years and we've had our tread for three years, two years, three years. So I'm super familiar with the Peloton community because I'm a fitness junkie. Like I'm a fitness junkie. Working out is my drug, movement is meditation, sweat is magic, period. And I thought it was enormously cool when I could take a live class on that Peloton platform. We've just taken this, Beachbody on Demand Interactive has just taken that idea, which is what happens to ideas. You know, people take them and then they grow them and they expand them. That's how we continue to move forward. We've taken that idea and we've moved it so much forward, it's ridiculous. So now you can actually be in a live class with a live trainer and get live interaction. That's what I think is so cool when I see these trainers look on the screen and go, hey, Susie, if you could just flatten out your back a little bit more, bend your knees a little bit more, do that. And then Susie does it lot, like right there, live on camera in real time. It's like, what is happening? It's crazy. It's crazy town. So, uh, you know, I believe in options. I believe in very much an ant. It, it's not, well, I have a Peloton, so therefore I can't use any other platform. Really? Because I taught group fitness. I teach group fitness for 20 years. I also work out at home. I also walk my dogs. I also ride my bike. I also get on my Peloton. I also go to a yoga studio. Really? How about we have a fit and healthy lifestyle and not let me just be tied to one platform? 
Because when we do that, dang, we miss out on so much that could change our lives. We miss out on so many ways to move our body. We miss out on so many new friends that we can make. We miss out on trainers that we might meet that could say the one thing that changes our lives. Why would we want to limit ourselves to one way to get fit? There are as many ways to get fit and healthy as there are human beings on this planet. Tap into all the ways. Tap into all the ways. Get yourself in the land of and instead of either or. I promise you, you'll be healthier and happier and you'll have a heck of a lot more fun. Get Beachbody On Demand Interactive in your life because it's a game changer. I've never seen anything like this platform. And again, I've been doing fitness for 20 years. So one of the ways to combat your sugar cravings is to work out. And you best believe that's what I'm going to do when I'm finished with this. I'm going to go get a good workout. And I think I'm going to do a bike boot camp and a strength class with Lee Jimenez. And you know what else is happening this week? It's my podcast drop week. So it is premiere week on Beachbody On Demand Interactive, which you need to have in your life, period. And it is launch week for the podcast. The podcast is back, it's back, it's back. The podcast is back, uh, 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 uh. And we have rebranded it completely to Project 100. So this is what you'll be looking for, Project 100 on your favorite podcast podcast platform and we're dropping four this week so we're kind of pushing two older ones up to the top and we're dropping two new ones so you have kind of four newish shows that um, will drop on Wednesday and then next week will be author speaker Kendra Hall which if you're not familiar with her you need to be because she got a new book coming out in January that everybody needs and then it just steamrolls from there and in December it is welcome to the magic in December because December is a month of Disney magic. All my guests have some kind of Disney connection in December. So I am so excited for this. I'm so excited. So that drops on Wednesday. Now, why am I so excited for this week? In addition to premiere week, in addition to podcast launch week, in addition to um, just really digging into these live classes on Beachbody On Demand Interactive, in addition to it being the first day of a brand new month, because this week is also my birthday week. So it is just all the positive energy this week. There's so much good stuff happening with the new live classes, with the podcast launching, with birthday week, and the new movie Eternals. The new Marvel movie comes out on my birthday. Will I be seeing it? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. And I think I, I've requested, I'm not sure where I'm going to get it or who's going to get it for me, but I have requested a vegan pumpkin pie. I have pumpkin pie one time, one time a year. That is on my birthday. And I need a vegan pumpkin pie. So we've got to do a little bit of, <laughs> we've got to do a little bit of searching here to find a vegan pumpkin pie. If I can't find that, then we'll find something else. But you know, that, that's my request for my birthday. Friends. Friends, my 6.30 a.m. community of friends. I hope you made your energize. Tips again for combating the sugar today. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna hydrate. We're gonna hydrate like the queens we are. Speaking of queens, if you get to New York City anytime soon and have the opportunity to go see the musical Six, hold on, I've got the playbill. The musical Six, if you have the opportunity to go see this musical, go see it because it's fantastic. 90 straight minutes of like freaking pop on Broadway, queens just belting their faces off. It's so good. If you are in New York City, Go see this musical. It's so, so, so good. Speaking of musicals, if you're in Chicago, the musical Moulin Rouge is opening soon. And our friend Courtney is the lead in it. We're so excited to go up and watch that when that happens. Um, that's a total tangent. That's how my brain works. That's a total, total tangent. So we're going to hydrate. We're going to veggie up our life today. We're getting our candy out, out of mind. We're gonna put it someplace else. We're gonna work the heck out. We are going to sweat, sweat, sweat because sweat is magic and movement is like meditation. It will change your life. You're gonna get platforms for fitness in your life that give you options so you're not just tied into one trainer or one modality or one format or one option because more options are better. You're gonna get into the land of and. 
You're going to get in the land of ants. If you are doing live classes this week, please tag me so that I can know. I want to know that you're doing your live classes. Um, podcast drop on Wednesday, November 3rd. Podcast drop, Project 100. Birthday week this week. My gosh, there's just so much going on. And let me just tell you, let me just tell you, I, I believe I put the final sign off on new Project 100 merchandise that is coming. You, you and I are gonna have a Project 100 party and it is going to be, I mean, the merch that we have planned mm, is good stuff. It's good stuff. It's so good. And a brand new planner coming out soon because, because after 100 days, of course, your, your planner's done. So then what are you gonna do? Don't you worry, I got you covered. So, so much good stuff coming. Tell me. Tell me, if you're still on, I appreciate you being on. If you're watching the replay, I would love for you to tell me this too. How, when should we do our next live? I almost thought about doing a live every single morning, but then I thought, well, who the freak wants to listen to me every single morning? That feels like a lot. That's too much. Um, but I'm just making my energize. And, and quite frankly, it's selfish for me because quite frankly, I really just like making my energize with friends. <laughs> I like in, you know, it, especially as it gets colder, you're just out less and less. I do so much here. I work from home. I, I'm, I'm home most of the time. It's just me and the dogs at home most of the time. Um, when I make my energize with you, it's, it's really, we're just making our energize together. And I have friends in my home, which uh, is so much more fun to me than just making it by myself. Because <laughs> I'm by myself a lot, which I like myself. I like being by myself, but I would like to make energize with friends. So just let me know. Just let me know um, if if we should, how often we should do this. And at one point you're like, yeah, we're done. We're done with you. And 6.30 is really the time. But maybe we could do it every day and I could switch up the time. The reason why I do it at 6.30 is because usually my husband um, gets up about 7.00. And then he comes down, he's making a shake and stuff like that. So when I do it about 6.30, I'm done before he gets up, which is the goal. Um, number one, I haven't disturbed his routine because I do not like it when he disturbs mine. If he comes down, if he comes down here, like when I'm like doing some of my stuff, uh, I'm like, what are you doing? Go back upstairs. Like, don't disturb my morning routine. I don't disturb your morning routine. Everybody needs their morning routine. Everybody needs their time. So, but I could also, it might also be fun if we did like, when I'm making my shake, if we made our shake with friends, you know, and, and we could make our shake together. So let me know. I know some of you are writing, writing in the comments. Please keep that coming so that I know. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to wear out my welcome, but quite frankly, it's selfish on my end because I would just rather make my energize with friends. So it's really not about you. It's really about me. No, I'm kidding. I just, I like hanging out with you. And, um, you know, when you're in your house by yourself a lot, it's, it's fun to hang out with friends, to start your day with friends in the morning. So, okay, I'm gonna go do my gratitude and goals, get my morning routine plugged in. Um, do a, <clears throat> I got some stuff to do for my Project 100 group. And then I am heading downstairs to get my sweat on because that's what we're doing today. We are, let's start today. Let's start this month how we wanna finish the month, right? Let's really set the tone for this month today. Let's really set the tone for the, how we want to go through the next 30 days this morning. Yes? Who's in with me? Let's do that. Let's set the tone. Let's have a, like a killer workout. Let's hydrate like queens. Let's veggie it up. And let's really set the tone for our day, for our week, and for our month, for how we want the month of November to go. Let's set the tone for it today. Are you in? Let's do that. All right. Make it a great Monday. Happy, happy November.